What kid doesn't love stuffed shells or raviolis, you know, cheese, sauce, ricotta, it's amazing. So my kids love it and I usually make stuffed shells. I don't buy the frozen, super easy, you know, making the ricotta mix, stuffing them in. I always have sauce on hand or I always have made sauce over the weekends. But I figured let's change it up and how I was thinking was, what do I got in the fridge? And I had a little bit of ground Italian sausage uh, if you want to make it spicy, go ahead. Mine's just the Italian sweet sausage. I have, this is whatever spinach I had left over in the, because I buy the big pack for the week. Uh, onion, garlic, Parmesan, two eggs to bind, obviously some fresh basil. And then I cooked my shells and you need any ricotta. And I figured a sausage spinach stuffed shell, make it like a bake, we'll layer it, some fresh mozzarella in between. Sounding good, right? sounding good i pulled out sauce and i have it just heating up on the stove right now and i'm gonna go and brown my sausage and i'm gonna saute my garlic and onion so i'm gonna brown the sausage drain the fat keep that on the side so it starts to cool saute my garlic and onions let that cool and then we're gonna get a big bowl and add this in so we make our filling and i already cooked these a little while ago but these are the stuffed shells i buy the mini or yeah not the jumbo but these are like nice size um, and because I'm doing a bake and I'm gonna layer them in the casserole dish I think this is the better size to use so pans on let me go brown this up and we'll be right back all right just browning up our sausage most important thing is let it cook a little bit because it'll make it a lot easier to break it up so I already let one side cook and now I'm using my spoon and just breaking up the meat um, and I already have cut right here my garlic and onions, but as soon as I pull this meat out in the fat, I'm gonna saute the onions and garlic, and then I will scoop that out and drain the excess fat. But we wanna use all that flavor to cook with. Yeah, who doesn't love a little sausage or bacon fat when you cook? I put the ricotta in the bowl. I sauteed my sausage and my spinach down. I got my garlic and onions, which I'm just putting in now. That was a light saute, and there really wasn't any fat left over. I mean, you could totally see as I'm pouring in here, the pan is completely dry. Um, our sauce is almost melt, like melted, because it was frozen, and I was like, Alexa, stop. That was for my sauce. Um, so we're gonna mix this, and we're gonna add in our sausage and spinach. Alexa. Stop. Might have to go to a bigger bowl. Really pushing the limit today with the bowls. But folding this all in, and I am gonna season with a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm gonna taste it before I add the eggs in. But this is a really nice hearty filling. Should all fit. Perfect. Should all fit. There we go. And the reason I'm gonna season it, obviously before I put the raw egg in, but I wanted to taste it like this because the sausage has a decent amount of salt as well. So, tossing this together. We're gonna need a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Woo! And then I have some basil and parsley chopped up that I'm gonna add as well. <clears throat> Completely mix this all together. And what we're gonna do is start spooning our shells. And the way I like to work is I have a sheet pan next to me. I'm gonna spoon my shells, line them up, then I'll get the sauce and we'll pan everything up. But um, I just like to work a little bit more in stages and a lot of less things all over the place. So, beautiful filling. Who doesn't love ricotta? Perfect, now we add our eggs. Just helps the binding. I do it with my lasagna as well. Take your shell, you don't wanna use too big of a spoon because if you do, it won't actually fit. I take the shell, I use my thumb to kind of open it up a little bit. I take the spoon and I plop in the filling, just like that. And now I'm just resting them here while I fill them all. Once again, I take the shell, I cook them for eight minutes. So they're cooked, but they're not mushy because they're gonna go in the oven. And since we're making this like a stuffed shell bake, um, it's gonna be in there for 25, 30 minutes. So we want the, the shells to be a little bit firm. 
stuffing them all, gonna get our sauce, tray it up, put the sauce on, put the cheese, a little breadcrumb, gonna put it in the oven. We're gonna have a beautiful stuffed shell baked tonight. Yes. Um, and if you have too much filling at the end of this, Ziploc baggie, label, freeze it. Next time you wanna make it, take it on out. Okay, all our shells are stuffed, our sauce is ready, and we have our pan. So what you're gonna do is start with putting some sauce on the bottom of your pan, spreading it out. I like a coating on the bottom. And it's hot because it just came off. So, then we wanna start lining up our stuffed shells. Single file line, all the way across. Hot. I think I hit the sauce. So we wanna get it all the way across, nice and lined up. I'm hoping I'm gonna get maybe two pans out of this. Um, you wanna push them up against each other. So don't be shy because they're gonna bake all together. So I'm getting three rows of two, four, six. Six in a row. Okay, so they went, I fit six across, three rows. I'm gonna go a lot lighter, just down the middle with some sauce, I'm not covering them, just putting a little sauce right over top. Then I'm sprinkling some fresh parm. I'm gonna put just some seasoned C4 breadcrumbs just a nice little coating to get that crunchiness on top. I'm gonna double it. And then I have some shaved mozzarella, covering that on top. Make sure it goes like a little bit over each one. I'm gonna put just a tiny bit more breadcrumb on top. And I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil right over it so the breadcrumbs kind of toast up with that mozzarella. And this is going in the oven. 40 minutes at 350. We just pulled our stuffed shells out. Hold on, I ended up getting two trays. Hot. I got two full trays. Shut my oven. Look how beautiful this is. So my suggestion, just like if you make a lasagna, let this sit and rest for around 10 to 15 minutes just because you want it to like come together, uh, it will still be hot, and then serve it on a plate, make a nice big salad, and you got dinner. So I let it sit. Before I serve anybody else, I'm gonna try it. Of course. Um, ricotta sausage, see how hot they still are? Ricotta spinach sausage, baked stuffed shells. We did the breadcrumb on top with the mozzarella. Wish it was Italian, just to say those words. Mozzarella, I make a great Italian. My nonna would be so proud of my sauce. Mmm. Mmm. It's so nice. And it's a little more heartier than, you know, like you get stuffed shells, you can eat like six of them. It's a little bit more hearty because you get a nice bite of sausage with each one. And the shells aren't mushy, as I'm trying to break it open right now with my spoon because why didn't I use a fork? Um, ha. Came out really good. If you make it, tag us, DM us. Let me know how they come out. I would love to see it. Make sure you follow us on YouTube for the recipes.